Yay. Finally, I'm back at making some more Roblox GFX tutorial, and also, I miss this Daniel voice. Okay, so, today I'm going to show you how to apply a normal or bump map to your Roblox model in Blender and Cinema 4D. So, let's begin. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you how to do it in C4D. Open your favorite Lightroom. Then, import your Roblox rig. Then, apply the Roblox avatar texture. I'm just gonna use my friend's avatar texture. Then import the OBJ file of the Roblox avatar texture you used. Delete all the body parts, except the accessories. Now apply the rig material to the accessories. Move the accessories to the head attachment of the rig. Now to apply the normal or bump maps to the avatar, do what I do. Open the rig material settings. Open the editor and change the texture preview size to no scaling. Now go to the color tab and change the sampling from MIP to SAT. I don't know what that means, but okay. Check the bump and the normal tab. In the normal tab, go click the arrow in the texture, pick bid maps, and choose the avatar texture. Click the arrow again, click effects, and pick normalizer. Now go to the bump tab. Click the arrow, bit maps, and the avatar texture. Click the arrow again, and pick filter. Click the image, and change the saturation to 0. Change the bump strength to whatever you want, I'm just gonna change it to 100%. Go to the reflection tab, at, and pick GGX. Change the texture to the avatar texture. And that's it. Let's see the result. Okay, enough with the madness. So, this is the result. As you can see, there is a bumpiness on the avatar. Now, maybe you're asking, Hey Alex, what's the difference between a texture with normal maps and without normal maps? Here, take a look. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it in Blender. Also I used one of my good friends method. Yes, it's Val's method. Check her YouTube channel out, link in the description. First, open up your Roblox Blender rig. Then, apply the texture to the rig. Then import the OBJ file of the Roblox avatar texture you used. Delete the body parts and assign the accessories to the rig. Also, change the accessories material from the original texture to the rig texture, or material. HM, it seems dark. Let me make a quick lightroom first. There you go, some simple lightroom. Now let's add a bumpiness to the avatar. First, drag a new window, then change the window from 3D view to node editor. Okay, I'm a little bit lazy to use Balaboka, I'm just gonna use texts instead.
Okay, that's all. Let's see the result. Okay, enough with the madness. So, this is the result. As you can see, there is a bumpiness on the avatar. Alright, that's all for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See ya soon. Bye.